Landing with a collapsed undercarriage, belly landing. Why landing gear must be retracted or deployed properly. During flight, the landing gear is retracted to reduce drag and improve fuel efficiency. Keeping it extended would result in excessive aerodynamic resistance, increased fuel consumption and potentially unstable flight dynamics. Conversely, during landing and takeoff, the gear must be deployed and locked securely in place. Any failure to do so can result in dangerous situations, such as a belly landing or gear collapse. These failures might occur due to undercarriage malfunction causes, hydraulic system leaks or failures, electrical or sensor issues preventing proper extension, mechanical wear or damage from previous flights. If pilots are uncertain about the landing gear's status, they may perform a low pass over the runway for air traffic controllers to visually assess the gear. In aviation, emergencies push the limits of human skill, technology and teamwork. Among the most challenging scenarios is a belly landing, when an aircraft must land without its landing gear extended. Today we delve into this complex situation, exploring the causes, procedures and outcomes. Understanding Belly Landings A belly landing occurs when an aircraft's landing gear fails to extend or collapses on touchdown. Causes of undercarriage problems include Causes of undercarriage problems Mechanical failure Issues with hydraulic systems or gear mechanisms Pilot error Incorrect operation of landing gear controls Bird strikes Damage caused during takeoff or approach Foreign object debris FOD Debris on the runway damaging the gear. Structural stress. Cracks or weaknesses in older aircraft. When there is doubt about the gear's status, pilots can fly past the control tower for a visual confirmation from air traffic controllers. In the cockpit, pilots rely on systems like green lights or electronic indicators to confirm if the gear is down and locked. When those indicators show a malfunction, the crew must prepare for the worst. The Critical Role of Air Traffic Control, ATC Air traffic control is a linchpin in ensuring the best possible outcome during a belly landing. Their role extends far beyond managing routine air traffic and becomes pivotal in emergencies. Key Responsibilities of ATC During a belly landing Declaring an emergency ATC clears the airspace ensuring no other traffic interferes with the distressed aircraft. Runway Preparation The longest and safest runway is identified and secured with emergency crews positioned along its length. Foam may be requested based on time and risk assessment. Providing updates, ATC continuously informs the crew about wind speed, runway conditions and weather updates. Overseeing emergency coordination. They alert fire and rescue teams, paramedics and other services, ensuring they are ready to respond. Visual confirmation. Controllers assist by providing feedback on the landing gear status during a flyby maneuver. Clear, calm and accurate communication between the pilots and ATC is critical. Every instruction and update provided by ATC can influence the pilot's decision-making in those critical moments. Why fires can occur. The risk of fire during a belly landing arises from friction between the aircraft's underside and the runway surface, Sparks can ignite leaking fuel, making it critical to reduce friction and avoid hard impacts. Time permitting, some airports deploy foam on the runway to minimize sparks and the risk of fire. Foam and its challenges 
reduces fire risk by cooling the surface and smothering sparks. Drawbacks. Foam can make the runway slippery, increasing the chance of a runway overrun. Ultimately, the decision to use foam depends on the time available and the specific circumstances. ATC, in consultation with emergency response teams, weighs these factors carefully. Dangers of a runway overrun. Runway overruns are one of the greatest risks during belly landings. These can occur if the aircraft fails to stop in time, especially on wet or slippery surfaces. Potential consequences include dangers of runway overruns, collisions with perimeter fences, aircraft may strike solid obstacles beyond the runway, impact with immovable objects such as buildings, equipment or terrain, sinking, wet ground can cause the aircraft to sink, complicating rescue operations. To mitigate these risks, air traffic control ensures the runway is closed and cleared of all obstructions. Foam application, if used, may further complicate braking effectiveness and must be balanced with the fire risk. Cockpit options for stopping the aircraft. In the cockpit, pilots use a combination of options to stop the aircraft. Stopping options for pilots. Aerodynamic braking. Holding the nose up to use drag from the aircraft body. Reverse thrust. If engines are operational, reverse thrust can help slow the aircraft. Spoilers. These movable panels are mounted on the wing's surface and deploy after landing to create aerodynamic drag. Ground spoilers. These are upper wing surface panels that can be raised to increase aerodynamic drag. Tail cone clamshell air brake. This air brake can be operated to increase aerodynamic drag. Each decision is calculated to minimize damage and protect lives. Post landing challenges. Once the aircraft stops, removing it from the runway can take hours or even days. The delay is due to reasons for removal. Delay is assessing structural damage to avoid further harm. Coordinating heavy machinery to lift and move the aircraft. Investigating the incident, especially for commercial flights. Incident case studies. History provides valuable lessons in belly landing incidents. Successful landing. In 2011, Lot Polish Airlines Flight 16 safely belly landed in Warsaw after its landing gear failed to deploy. The pilot skillfully glided the aircraft onto the runway, saving all 231 passengers and crew. Emergency services were ready, extinguishing small fires and evacuating passengers without injury. Tragic Outcome Tragically, a recent Jeju Airways incident highlighted the dangers of a belly landing. A runway overrun due to excessive speed on touchdown resulted in a fire. Emergency response was delayed due to challenging conditions, leading to the loss of lives. This underscores the critical importance of preparedness and swift action. A belly landing represents a critical test of skill, coordination, and technology. From pilots and air traffic control to emergency services, each plays a vital role in ensuring the best possible outcome. While the risks are high, training and preparation save lives and minimize damage. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more aviation knowledge.